Hi guys, uh, so this week's topic is about fragrance, uh, you know, in your practice. For me, um, I have a bit of a, well, I think there's more people that maybe have this uh, experience than maybe people think, which is, now I'm going to see if I can pronounce this right. Synesthesia, I think it's called. Synthesia, something like that. I can never remember. I always have to look it up before I pronounce it, but I'm kind of doing this on the on the hop today. Multitasking, my son was up till God knows what time. Didn't settle till early hours of the morning, so I am cooking at the moment. I've had enough sleep to do me, so I'm just catching up on bits and pieces. Anyway, I digress. Um, for me, um, it's kind of a weird one because obviously the, the senses generally, um, for me, are a big thing w with regards to scent. Scent is a huge thing in my practice and always has been. Even from when I was young, before I knew what witchcraft was or the path was or anything like that, I was always that way inclined when I was young. But... Um, I always found, and even up to now, that senses and colours were intertwined with one another in the sense of, um, like, if I'm outside in the forest, I can, this sounds weird, I know, but it's like I can smell colours, does that make sense? Um, each colour has a scent, I don't know if that's just me, but, um, but I do know it's a thing. I didn't know it was a thing till a few years ago, but apparently it is. And that highly influences me in my path. Um, for me, I'm like very visual, very sensory connected in this in the respect of if I'm doing um something at a very particular space I have, I think I've showed it in this channel before, which is like the glass bowl with the tea lights in, um, that homes in on very much what I see, what I smell, what I feel, like the colours I choose, very much the scents I choose to do whatever it is I'm doing. So for example, um, I was doing some um, magic pertaining to something to do with the kayak and I had grey and black and silver and white tea lights. And the scents I chose were very, very outsidey scents, if that makes sense. So, like, um, smells of the ocean, smells of um, a fireplace, uh, like outside fire, sorry. Um, like, you know, if you're burning a fire outside. Um, the smells of outside smells, so like... Um, I've got scents that are like the rain, um, thunderstorm, kind of scents. Uh, even use tobacco in there as well. And uh, for me, anyway, um, there's a there's a range. Um, a few people that I speak to in the community and other communities um know this brand it's called the library of fragrance and they do really unusual scents like <coughs> um freshly cut grass like um dirt like a thunderstorm like um rain um all those type of more connected with the earth based scents so I use those a lot um, on my person, on things. For example, I may spray um, a tiny little bit of something on um, a piece of kitchen towel and have it um, underneath the bowl that I am doing my spell working on. And as the warmth of the candles permeates down, it brings the scent out. And that is something I do a lot of. Um, on my Morrigan um, main altar, 
I do similar and um, again I've got a little tiny little bit in front of my altar I pull the drawers out and I have a little piece of wood and it's covered with a little old cushion cover and that is directly in front of my Morrigan altar and I do the same thing there it's how I bring scent in the same with wax melts um I'm pretty sure I showed that in a video with um I actually use ohms and carve ohms into the wax um so that um it incorporates scent but also using the ohm for whatever it, purpose I'm using it for or bringing in certain things um so that is a very big thing to incense as well um yeah there's there's loads of things I do so fragrance is a big part of my practice definitely 100% and again sometimes like if money's tight I'll buy just regular tea lights or regular pillars or regular dinner candles and anoint those but there's times where I will come across like big packs of scented tea lights or big packs of um a candles where they have the scent already in but that's not a big problem because I tend to anoint my own anyway and, and put my own scent and in, that into whatever it is I'm doing but it's sometimes nice just to have your tea lights or your candles or whatever already having the scent in so you can if you need to do something in a set time scale uh, as in like you pick a day and you think right today I, I need to do this or you have geared up to do something then um, it's handy just to be able to pull from that part of your cupboard or whatever which is always handy particularly if you're a busy parent um so those are big things and i also um uh, somebody else on the channel mentioned um about um ancestry now for me ancestry is a huge part of my practice um and it's very much interwoven and interconnected with the kayak in, in a lot of respects. So I have my Morrigan main um, altar. I have my Morrigan sacred fireplace, which is mainly for offerings. I have my little um, astrological lunar solar kind of little bit where I use with my um, glass bowl. And upstairs I have my ancestor altar. Um, and um, I have another little bit sectioned off, which is beside my uh my ancestor altar for the kayak and that's changed over the months umpteen times and how i've set it out and how i've incorporated things um also saint for example um my gran who is obviously highly connected with my ancestor altar she um loved carnations and um, so carnations are incorporated a lot on my ancestor altar i use i will buy um or pick uh carnations and then um once they are done i will dry them out and i will crush them up and i will put, make blends with them like to anoint candles to make as offerings to make as a loose incense to burn um i also have carnation resin which kind of melts it's like a resin um, so that's used on my ancestor altar too and I find a lot of scents to do with sunflower scents are very uh, they kind of walk your head but not in a good way if that makes sense I personally am not into floral scents but my gran loved carnations so I honour her with the uh, you know give back to her with giving her what she liked um, and it's one of the things I found in the flower scents and the bud scents and the petal scents and the leaves. Um, they're very, very mild scented, if at all, um, when it comes to drying things out. Um, so those are perfect. But then I will also use four scent, the carnation resin, um, because I've bought a few carnation things before and lit them if they're incense or if they're or wax melts or whatever. And they have not been I I burn something first to see if the scent is okay, if the smell is okay, and if I don't like it, I get a feeling, you know, whether to use it or not. And nine times out of ten it's been no, I'm not gonna use it. And I've used them up like uh wouldn't waste things, but I've got to the point where I've like, no, I don't think she'd like that. So I have then um not used that on 
for well on my general ancestor altar um so for me scent is a big massive thing and it part it's it goes part and parcel with many different things to do with um the senses yeah that's pretty much what resonates with me and like i say everything goes hand in hand everything interconnects and interweaves into one another regards senses for me anyway um and my personal favorite scents and scents that resonate with me are earthy scents i find most for example um uh, sprays or um incenses or wax melts that are more earthy based are what i prefer even things like um you know what i use in the shower nine times out of ten the the scents i prefer are in the men's section uh because all of the scents in the female section like shower gels bath stuff are far too sweet far too florally and that's just not my cup of tea at all i like really earthy dark scents uh even down to like say wax melts candles all that kind of thing and if I can't find a scent I like, then I make my own and incorporate that into what I'm doing as opposed to finding what I like in the shops already, like as is. But I have found a few shops that have sold very um cheaply, actually, uh, tea lights or votives or pillars or whatever that have had a scent. Like one I had was... Uh, cedarwood and what was it cedarwood and sea salt or something which was totally up my street anything like that is totally up my street i'm not saying all scents like that are lovely but that was totally up my street so you get a kind of an idea but definitely che check out the um library of fragrance um website facebook page and you'll see what i mean you get so many weird and wonderful scents so many off the cuff scents that like may be for you if you like slightly more unusual smells.